this show is really about um, helping people to really achieve, like to lead through the growth environment that we're in right now. We're in the fastest paced business environment anyone's ever seen. And we know that your ability to lead in times of change is just absolutely critical to success. So one of the things we want to really focus on with you is, is some of the, the, the leadership lessons that you learned over your years. And, uh, you know, if you could, you know, tell us, tell us maybe a, a story about one of your, one of your better uh, leadership mentors. Do you have somebody who, in your world, you really looked up to? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think one of the kind of principles of leadership, one of the foundations of, of leadership skills is building your team. And I think that is uh, something that you constantly have to be striving to is to make the, your team, whether that's a team of two or a team of 20,000, better. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a core competency of being a leader. Um, when I arrived in Hawaii, which is one of the places I was stationed, Captain Matagrano at the time, um, I had a mentor, he was my battalion commander, his name was Lieutenant Colonel John Luce, and, uh, and he was just an exceptional leader. And it was interesting because the unit I was in was a, you know, we just got done talking about jumping out of airplanes with explosives and guns. Captain Matagrana, however, was in Hawaii, and I had a topographic <laughs> company under my command, which means I had a company of map makers okay so they were surveyors and map makers and we were in hawaii amongst the 25th infantry division some of the hardest core light fighting infantrymen that our army has all right so we had a challenge my battalion commander and and i as a company commander we had a challenge because my company the men and women of my company felt and convinced themselves that they were inferior to the men of 25th Infantry Division. We had completely different missions. Um, we were stationed in a different location than the Infantry Division that we were supporting. And my battalion commander tasked me, challenged me, to figure out a way to raise the game of my company right so to to make them think of themselves but be better and to to be better and you know i i kind of took his challenge to me and, and passed that along to my company and really came away and and you learn this along the way so i didn't know this going in but being through it i, I kind of think of it as a, as a series of steps now to team building and and i think it begins with a challenge and so I would challenge my company to, to do things that they hadn't done before, right? Participate in events that are head to head with the infantry units of 25th Infantry Division. So you actually put your team up against their team yeah. to do different events. Yeah, and, and, and because they, they never would have done it on their own. And believe it or not, they would actually do relatively well. Um, you know, the, all things considered, and, and but that challenging of your organization leads to small successes, mm. and every one of those small successes then builds confidence mm. in every one of those individuals, and it builds confidence together as an organization. It becomes a more confident culture within that organization. And competent units, competent organization, competent teams will then take more initiative. And so they start doing more things on their own because they feel like they can. And units, organizations, teams that take initiative become efficient because they're not always waiting around for somebody to tell them exactly what to do. And so what I learned by being challenged myself by, you know, a, a really, really experienced mentor was that 
you can improve your team, you can build your team by introducing challenges leading to successes, resulting in confidence that create initiatives and ultimately leads to a more efficient, basically a better type of team or organization. Mm -hmm. And once